Uh, okay. Hi, it's me. It's Paul Carpenter. This is number 50 of number 365, and it's called What Kind of Life You Want? What? I don't know the what part. I just added that. But I start in five. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. I hope that you're doing well, and I hope that wherever you are is doing good for you. It's me. It's Paul Carpenter. That's this guy. And it's number 50 of 365. The first of the year, 2021, and I ask you, my friends, what do you really want? And I ask this seriously, because we live in a really crazy world where you're constantly being told what to wear or who to be or what to think or even whether something is either funny or not. And if somebody else has deemed it not funny, then you're given a warning at the beginning of that video, movie, whatever, to let you know how you should feel about that thing that's going on. And what I'm getting at here is this. What kind of life do you want? What is it that you want to create and leave behind? Is it a life of excess and a life of frivolity that seemingly is meaningless in the end of it all? Did you really get something out of it? Or are you just doing it? One second. Thanks, Kat. It's one of the cats. Now, the point I'm trying to get at here is this. We live in a very crazy world, right? This world tells us all these things. And most of the time, it's based off of corporations that are just profit-based corporations that just don't care, really, about you. And so I asked at the beginning of this whole thing, what kind of life do you really want? How is it that you want to be perceived by you and by others around you? Do you want to be perceived as a guy who created negativity, drama, or whatever in someone else's life? Or do you want to be recognized as the person that was doing their best with whatever it was they were given? There's a story recently of a kid, I think he was in California... Will Smith did a whole thing on him, and his his sister got taken away. She lived in Mexico, and the parents didn't have enough money, and the kid started selling flowers. And he just started a flower business, and before he was done, he was able to pay for a car, he was able to do this, he was able to do that. It got popularized in the news, and a bunch of people showed up, and, and the kid sold a bunch of flowers. He started a business now. And the point of this is that You do with what you have. And you create what you can with what you have. And if that becomes a thing, that's awesome, bro. You, 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 when people tell me that they succeeded, so I have a friend of mine. He's known as the funny salesman. If you haven't seen it, look up, go, just look up at funny salesman, one word, on Instagram. He's a good friend of mine. His name's Kenny. And he does door-to-door -door sales. And he was uh, uh, doing a thing where he was cleaning people's shoes. And there was a product that he was selling door to door. And it's a true story, the way that it happened. A woman videotaped him and she put it on her YouTube. And now this woman got some like 20 million views or 30 million, some crazy amount of views on this video and made a stupid amount of money. I think like $750,000. And gave not one dollar to the guy she made all the money off of. He tried suing her. Nothing. Now, on one level, I'm completely bummed out by that, right? You're like, why not? I can't believe she would do that. You know, she used his 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 energy and his fame and blah blah blah, right? I feel the same way, right? So, but at the same time, now. He's made a TikTok channel. He's made an Instagram. He has ridiculous amounts of followers. People are now 
paying him to do uh, ads, and I'm talking twenty thousand, thirty thousand, a hundred thousand dollar deals, getting to be on TV, getting to be in movies, getting to talk to Grant Cardone. And so I ask you, should he have gotten the money at the beginning? Or does he have like something there to play with that he can you do with what you got? And so there's something there. Something. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but there's something there. And so, sure, he should have gotten something at the beginning. The woman's not a very nice person for doing what she did, but well, we don't know the situation. What if she had a kid that was sick? Or what if she had a family member that blah, 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 and all the money really just disappeared anyway. She never even got to touch the money. You know, who knows what's up in this world, right? My point is, you do the best with what you got. And the question is, what is it that you really want to be remembered? As the guy that had a Lamborghini and showed it off with his hot girl that, like, wears, like, super bras. And she's like, I'm so hot. I'm so sexy. Do you want to be that woman? I don't think so. I think we're literally moving into a different world, a different way of thinking, a different way of being, a thing that creates a, a new sense of uh, entitlement to humanity. That, and I mean humanity, not some bestiality, crazy, weird, misogynistic, patriarchal conceptual idea, but something new. Where woman is regarded as the the thing of celebrity, not the 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 pornographic version of that, but a real version of that, where celebrity becomes the doctors and the scientists and the and the and the people who really truly create greatness for us. Because those are the people we're supposed to be uplifting. Those are the people that we're supposed to be saying, yo, be like one of these people. Don't be like Cardi B with your WAP. What are we teaching 14-year-olds and 10-year-olds that are listening to this music? Because you know it's popular culture, so it's in their phones, it's in their car, it's in their... <gasps> so... You know, it's, it's, my point here to the whole thing is be represented of who you really are on the inside, not some external influence that's trying to dedicate you to their dream, uh, their reality they are choosing to manifest for you. Instead, be the manifest destiny of your own. Create your own uh, envisioned idea of the reality that you should be living within. And if in some way, shape, or form, that reality is not what you deem that it should be, then do something about it. Create something, even if it's a freaking video that only nine people watch. Something... Something, even if it's just one sandwich that you give to somebody who's homeless, even if it's just, uh, I don't know, a handshake or a hug in a time where people aren't hugging, or uh, walk someone across the street and talk to them. Or go see a person who may have not seen anybody for the last two or three weeks and has been locked away in a home. And maybe don't go inside, but knock on their door and like say hi and talk to them from a distance and give them some interpersonal human contact that's not based on a fucking camera. And with that, my friends... 
please go out into the world and do something nice for somebody else today. And if you can't do something nice for yourself, it does start with you. And number two, please don't get caught up in all the crazy stuff that's going on. Because if you do, oh, that's all you think about. And number three, if you would not mind, I beg you, please like, share, subscribe, send this out to somebody. It doesn't matter who it is. It's just as long as it's out there, somebody will see it and it might brighten their day. Give it to an enemy of yours that you don't like because you're like, hey, I don't like you and you need to watch this guy because this will annoy the crap out of you. Something. I don't know what it is. Also, please, if you want to support, go to my Patreon. It's Patreon forward slash Mentally Hip. Also, if you want to buy something from my cool website, it's called The Mystical Space. I have tarot cards and I've got, I've got rocks and I've got... Uh, stop. It's just all based on, you know, like, fluty, fluty flutes. And, oh, and uh, 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 one of these. Uh, so these, the little aroma thingies, and you, like, you put droplets. And then, you know, stuff like that. And then, oh, and then, like, oh, I sell these. They're, like, you know, incense holders. But mine are cool because they fold. Anyway, the point I'm trying to do here is that, you know, if you want to support me and my fun and my crazy and these stories that I do every day, I would hope that you would enjoy the idea that maybe, hey, we should give this guy some money. Because he's a little doopity poops in the head. And if we gave him, son, he'd be even more poopity poops in the head. And that would only make this more fun. For you, me, and for everybody else. Listen, I hope that you have a beautiful day. I really do. I thank you for watching. I really do. I really, really do. And I want to say, I love you all so much. I really do. That I will see you all on the other side.